it's Bella. Today's video is going to be on this dramatic New Year's look. It is a glittery black smoky eye. It is extra, it's dramatic, it's so full on. So today's video is actually part one or part two of two. There's going to be two videos going up on my channel today. I'm not sure if this is going up first. If it is, then stay tuned because I have a less dramatic New Year's look coming up. It's like a champagne rose gold smoky eye and if not then if this is the second video then you should definitely go and watch the other one which is already on my channel and I will have it linked down below but today's video is so exciting because I remember this time exactly one year ago I was sitting down filming a New Year's Eve makeup look and I was thanking you guys because I had just hit a hundred thousand subscribers and here we are exactly one year later and we have 840,000 subscribers. That is just mind-blowing to me that we have gained 740,000 followers in one year. Like I just don't understand and I want to thank you guys so much for the most incredible year of my life. So many amazing opportunities have happened because of you guys and so many amazing things and my life has just been so amazing this year. Like I just want to thank you guys so much because I would not be experiencing the things that I am experiencing if it wasn't for you guys sitting here watching my videos, supporting me. <sighs> Unreal. It's like surreal to me that like this is my life. There's people that actually want to watch little old me on YouTube sitting in front of a camera doing my makeup just chilling out like Oh, I don't know. It's just really crazy to me. Oh, I don't know. I'm so excited for 2017 and I hope that you guys are as well. I'm so excited for all of the things that are to come and achieving some goals that I have and exciting things that are happening in 2017. I'm just really excited. If 2016 was this amazing of a year, then hopefully 2017 will top it, but it will definitely be hard because it has been crazy. So anyway, if you guys are interested in the look on my face right now, then please keep on watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up when you do, if you do enjoy this look. And yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start off with priming my eyes using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And setting that in place with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is a Morphe G37 for my eyeshadow look today I'm gonna to be using my semi sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced and I'm gonna start off with the shade peanut butter here and I'm just gonna blend this into my crease as my transition shade using my 228 brush from Zoeva and I'm actually gonna take this out in like a little V shape on the outer corner <laughs> Now I'm just going to grab Truffled on my Sigma E25 brush and just play, place it basically where I place peanut butter except a little bit more, a little lower. Now I'm going to grab a flat shader brush and I'm going to take Licorice, which is the black, and I'm going to start packing this onto my eyelid. And you don't want to take this all, I feel like this is the trick with the black smoky eyes, you don't want to take it all the way up to the crease. You just want to blend it up towards the crease because otherwise it'll look like you got punched, which is not the look we're going for here. To blend, I'm going to use my Morphe R39 brush and I'm just going to blend this up to the crease. And if you need a little help blending this, uh, if it's not blending out the way you want to, grab a little bit of truffled on this brush and just blend it out that way, it should help. <laughs> And when you blend it out, the black is going to like lose pigment, so you're just going to have to do this a few times where you blend it out, pack on more black, blend it out, pack on more black, blah blah blah, until it's at the intensity and blendiness <laughs> that you want. Um. 
On a clean brush, I'm going to take a little bit of truffle to help blend it out, blend the black out better. Okay, I just went off camera and I did my other eye. So now we're going to jump into the fun part. This is the glitter. This is from Violet Voss. It's in the shade Brooklyn. It's just a black glitter. Um, but before we do that, we have to apply some glitter glue. I have my one here from Too Faced. I don't own any other glitter glues, but... I definitely need to try some other ones. So I'm gonna grab the glitter glue and just like place it on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna pick it up with this 234 brush from Zoeva and apply it to my eyelid. And I'm using a more fluffy brush rather than a more defined brush because I don't want the glitter to just stop like a cut crease, you know what I mean? You just wanna place this glitter glue wherever you're gonna be putting glitter. And now with the same brush, I'm going to pick up that glitter and just start tapping it on, I guess. And I always put the bulk of the glitter like in the middle. And once I've got the most of the glitter off the brush, then I'll start going up. So it's like there's less glitter on the brush and it makes it more dispersed if that makes sense and then once you've got that on you're gonna have glitter all over your face so just grab a makeup wipe or sticky tape or whatever sticky tape works really well you wrap it around your finger and go like that it'll take a lot of the glitter off oh no there's glitter all in my beauty blender and now I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my eyes with my Colourpop creme gel liner this is in Swerve <laughs> First time on my channel, I actually wish that I wasn't using Queen Bees, but I don't have anything else. I would definitely go for a House of Lash Iconic or a Goddess Lash from Coco Lash rather than the Queen Bees because they're just going to bring this out a lot more and I don't think I like the way that these look with this particular look, but it's all that I have. Okay, now for the face makeup. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my face with the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion and popping a little bit of concealer on my very unfortunately timed pimple. I'm going to be using my Iconic London Foundation Stick in number three for foundation. <laughs> I also just want to do a quick cream contour. I'm using the Iconic London one and I'm going to mix these two colours here. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? Some black stuff, where'd that come from? I'm just gonna try and blend that out as best I can, Jesus. I'm gonna correct my under eyes a little bit with the Naked Skin Corrector from Urban Decay. This is in the shade pink. And to set that, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. This is from IT Cosmetics. And now I'm going to bronze my face using my Jouer Mattifying Bronzer. This is in Sunswept. And the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium to Contour. And I'm going to be using this blush from Becca today. It is called Wild Honey. I'm going to use 
used the Natasha Denona Face and Body Glow in number light 01 to highlight today. To finish off the eyes today, I'm first going to go in with the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner and Swerve. And then I'm going to smoke out truffle and peanut, other way around, peanut butter and truffled onto my lower lash line, like my lower lash line transition shade, if you will. And then I'm going to go in with licorice closer to the lower lash line. And I'm going to grab my highlighter again for my inner corner and also my brow bone highlight. For my lips, I'm first going to go in with Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. And then I'm going to go over that with Dubai Liquid Lipstick from Ofra. end of today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed if you did then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and little button somewhere on the screen or down below wherever the little bell is so that you guys are notified when i do release new videos and i hope you guys have a very happy new year and yeah i'll hopefully see you guys next year in future videos bye